Remember when they hate me? Didn't think we made them Not everything they used to look at me Remember when I called you? And you didn't fall through Now you hit your face And you look at me Look at me good with y'all all right so what are we getting into today hi so today we're gonna be messing with the c fizzle for those that don't know what the c fizzle is that is my c5 that is no longer going to be my c5 so if you've been keeping up you guys know that i did a giveaway on my supercharged c5 uh sunday the shipping containers coming to pick that thing up and that car is going to be going new york to the person that won it but today what I want to do is I want to mess with the tune, make sure everything is good one last final time because since I fixed that little sputtering issue, I haven't tuned it and today we're going to be uh, doing some street tuning, just getting that all situated. You guys know that at one point this car did make 720 horsepower. Since then it has been turned down. I would just hate to give a car away somebody wins it then something happens to them and they get hurt or whatever so um right now the car is probably going to be set at about maybe 15 degrees of timing it'll probably be about i'm guessing probably somewhere around 600 horsepower uh which is still more than enough throw it back at 21 22 degrees of timing and you know make 700 plus out of it again but that's what we're about to be getting into today. Uh, my tuner Jason is on his way right now so once he gets here we're going to jump in the sea fizzle and we're going to be getting tuning So for the new people that may be new and viewing for the first time, let me show y'all to see Fizzle. So this is, I want to keep wanting to say my, it's no longer my supercharged C5, but this is the supercharged C5. I'm gonna pop the hood and everything for y'all and show y'all one last time what was done because this will probably be the last time y'all see this car on the channel. After this, this is like, that's it. So for the new people, here you go. It is a supercharged C5. It is not a LS1 or LS6 anymore. This is a LS2 block that has been stroked out to a 402 stroker. It has uh, LS6 heads, which are the 243 heads, ANA supercharger. Um, it's fully forged, forged pistons, forged rods, forged crank. It also has the sloppy mechanic stage two cam in here. It has the, um, fuck um lg lg long tubes lg x pipe which is a three inch x pipe to a b and b um exhaust out back so yeah i mean car has some some good shit on it like small fans um what you call it dewitt's radiator you know nothing was cheaped out on this car tile blow off valve so it has 1200 cc injectors also has you know what i'm saying radium fuel rails so literally when i say Nothing was cheap down on here, man. Like, nothing, man. This is my baby. It also has a custom radium surge tank right here. Surge tank has a Walbro 525 pump, and then the lift pump and the tank is a 450 uh, Walbro pump. It has a Mighty Mouse catch can. Literally, you know, all, all the good shit that you would want to do. This thing has some LS3 heads, which was going to be my next step for it. I actually still have the LS3 heads. Um, LS3 heads would probably literally would have set this thing at maybe, I want to say probably about 780, 800 horsepower. I think that would be like kind of like the max on the, on the blower, but it probably would have made about 800 horsepower with LS3 heads. But I never got around to uh, doing the heads on here. So... You know, for the uh, new owner, that's something I would do. I think these 243 heads are just a little on the small side for how big this uh, displacement is. So, you know, 402, which is the equivalent of about a 6.6 .6 liter. And these heads were off of a 5.7 liter. So I think the LS3 has, or the LS3 heads are just a better flowing head. So 
I would highly recommend the new owner, if you're watching this, to do the LS3 heads on here. But, you know, I think at that point you will also have to change up the fuel system. So if I was to do LS3 heads, I would um, probably do a Ford Innovation fuel system, which is the same system that I have on my C6, which is a dual pump setup, dash 10 lines and everything. But I think that's the only thing this thing really needs would be uh, a bigger fuel system if he wants to make more power and LS3 heads. At that point, realistically, if you put LS3 heads on here, a bigger fuel system and a bigger blower, this motor will be set up to do a thousand horsepower, no problem. Like it's fully freaking built. So the point a lot of you guys are hearing me saying was I wanted my C5 to actually be faster than my C6, just because you don't really see, you know, really crazy C C5s out. You know, a lot you see a lot of C6s that are all turned up and stuff, but C5 is kind of more of like the underdog when it comes to which one usually makes more power. And that was kind of the approach I wanted to go for this one. But, you know, since then, uh, this car got on the chopping block and ended up getting the Viper. So, yeah, let's just wait for the tuner, man. It sucks. I am going to miss this car. Like, I genuinely, genuinely was like, Ugh. a lot of people can't believe I actually gave this car away. And y'all can see it is on a Neato drag pack 305.40. So I think this is equivalent to about a 20, 28, something like that. 28 inch, whatever. But all right, now y'all got the update and rundown. Let's wait on my tuner to get here. Here got my tuner pulling up in this little Prius. No, he almost drove by the house because all the cars ain't out here. <laughs> I mean, technically he can't really see nothing but the c6 that fool got way over there I'm like yeah he must have didn't see all the cars that's why why you drive by the house man i was just looking for your house i couldn't see it with all the cars <laughs> i didn't know if that was yours or not i figured i was like he can't see the cars what's good you man you ready for your you ready for your favorite car dude i'm i got alcohol i'm gonna take a shot before i leave <laughs> celebrate jason's so happy this car is leaving this has been the problem child man Jason Sack Speed Shop. Everybody's happy this car's leaving except for me. Let's get this party started. Jeez, man. C5 got way more room than the Viper. Look at that leg room. I am going to miss her. Haven't started this thing up a hell of long. Battery should be fine. Oh. Jason over there clicking away. Trying to figure out what to do. <laughs> Yo, here learning as he goes. It's the only way to do it, right? I'm just gonna say I don't have 1400. <laughs> <laughs> Idling hella high. You said you didn't want it to die. Why that table all lumpy, man? The table's supposed to be smooth. It is. So my timing I'm adding in here so it doesn't die on you. See, it took so much timing out the shit won't stay alive. Make much of straight bitch ass nigga. Try it. <laughs> I gotta get up to sack, so I only have 15 minutes to work in your car. I'm just trying to make this car idle, that's all I'm trying to do. I don't care how it looks. <laughs> he's so ne he's so negative. 
Hey, we got over here already. Look at that, it's running way better. Battery ain't die on us. Stop saying that. You're gonna say that and then you're gonna mean you're gonna be pushing it, pushing it down the street here <laughs> trying to bump start it. You know I brought my jumper today. I was I forgot it though. It's like I'm bringing my jumper, man. Bro, it has a new battery. There's everything. a high probability of us getting stranded today. It's not. I'm telling you, the issues have been sorted. Watch. You're gonna be surprised. Let's just throw it on the dyno and see what it does. That no, was Mike. different though. No, Mike. I think your training is still slipping. No, I think it's okay. Let's just put it on the dyno. Just needs a tune. Okay. That's what I'm gonna tell you next time when I get the truck back. I should have it back in a week. Should be good. I'll be out of town. Well, he's trying to work quick now. You think the battery gonna die? I do. Bruh, we're a long ways away from batteries dying now. Turn it off. Watch. Why the proof Jason wrong right here? Shit by the crank up like. I don't. I don't know, man. You can't let the past dictate the future, man. You've been a negative Nancy over here. This car doesn't like us. If something happens now, it don't like you. Cause I've driven it a lot since then. Oops. I can hear the voltage drop. Bruh, <laughs> you want me to start it? You ready? No, no, it's flashing. We don't want to break the computer now. It's an early morning type of job. You gotta be fresh for this car. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a job you gotta do at 8 p.m. Maybe she a morning bird. We'll see. I told Alex it'll take only three flashes. So that's one. We got two more left. Bet. Yeah, set it at 18 degrees. Just throw the old map on here, man. I know, right? Give him this. Give him a look. Off. Let him live at 720. Go ahead and start it. Ready? Yeah. Moment of truth? Yeah, go ahead. Didn't die on us again? That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's why you my tuner, bro. Yeah, lucky. That, them guesstimations. I knew the only thing stopping this car from going to New York was me, so <laughs> I wasn't about to not let this go to New York, so I went to bed early and everything. I fucking hate you.
see that? You see that? You didn't see no sputter either, did you? No, it's good. See? Look at that. Neutral. Clutch in. Neutral. You, bro. Fuck, man. I, could, I mean, I couldn't give it away broken. <laughs> I didn't believe you. I'm gonna give it away, and then I'm gonna have it get flamed on the internet. Bro, Mike gave me a fucked up C5. Like, it it was my problem, child. But now it's like, it's good. Get about like, 60. Get about 10, 10 pounds. 10 pounds of boost right there. Yeah, it should be, it should be at about 12. Yeah, you let out about 61. Yeah, I think we're revving us to what, 65, 66, something like that, yeah. Man, 20 degrees max, yo. That should set him back at 700 horsepower. Yeah, true. I think at what, 20, 21 or 22 degrees, we made like 719. Yep. At least he wouldn't be getting gapped out there by everything. <laughs> Only him making my car look bad. <laughs> Imagine if this thing had LS3 heads and a Ford Innovation fuel system. That's what I told you to do. Man, that was next on the list. I bought the head, so I just, just didn't do the fuel system that yet. Surge tank. Man, that surge tank works, yo. You're living and dying by that surge tank. It works. Part of it was a voltage issue. Alright. Let's see your voltage was. Should it looked like it was like 13.5 or something like that. Between 13.1 and 13.6. Yeah, it hit 14 and then it was averaging like 13 and a half. Yeah. That's about right. Damn, so Jason making him spin. Spicy. Try not to send it out of here without turning wheels, you know? Sheesh. You know? Spicy. It's gonna be 20 degrees. And then up top, 22 and a half degrees. Or 22 degrees. 
up top in the RPM range. It should definitely be about seven. Okay. It'd be nice to have it on the dyno. Probably even make more than what we made before. What do you say? What are you doing this weekend? You gonna be on the dyno this weekend? Oh, I'm pulling up. <laughs> Let me pull up. Look at yeah. you pulled up to the house. He didn't want me on the dyno because he thought we weren't gonna have a successful tune. He's you like, nah, I'm gonna pull up on the street. That's why we're gonna street tune it. You don't listen to me. He had no faith in this thing. I was like, Mike, your transmission doesn't need a tune. Let's just put it on the dyno and see what it does. Mike, Doesn't it's not the tune. I mean, we confirmed it though. We did. Good to know. Here we go. So this should be the last pull right here. Let's start it. There it is. I know flash. Man. C5. Jay with all his negativity. Proved him wrong. You did. This time you did. Man. I'm gonna offer him some cash, bro. I'm like, hey bro. <laughs> I got like 25k. Or you could take the car. <laughs> it feels good. This is like after all that time it does. Man. I forgot how fun this car was. I ain't. I haven't got to drive it like this in hella long. I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss it. This car was fun. I'm gonna hit up Alex and Ray now. I'm like, I need a refund for all that money I spent. All that money, and I had to fix the problem. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start my own shop. It's gonna be called Mike Speed Shop. Feel me? If you got a C5 with sputtering issues, you know what I'm saying? Just hit me up. You feel me? I'll get you right. Just if you got a C5, hit you up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. That's it. Final revision in here. This thing's definitely about seven, seven something. So, new owner is going to love it. My backpack's in the back, the way you were driving. Like oh, yeah. All that, uh, all that torque. Here, look. I got you. C5 trick right here. Look. Just. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. okay. You got the beat too? What? It ain't hooked up yet. But I am gonna give it to the new owner so he can he can hook it up if he wanted to. I need to wash this thing today or tomorrow. 